There's nothing I love more in the fall and winter than a nice bowl of hearty chili. This chili is very customizable to your specific tastes, but it gives you a great base to start from and a secret ingredient that will give a great depth of flavor and will surprise everyone if you tell them. It's also a healthy chili using low to no salt ingredients and lean meat if you're looking to get on track after a few too many treats. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to cook some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. If you like meat in your chili, brown up a pound of ground turkey breast. Make sure that you break it down into smaller pieces as it cooks. To a Dutch oven or a small stock pot, add the box of tomato red pepper soup. Add a little water to the box when it's toward the end and swish it around to get all the soup from the inside. Then it's time to add the tomato paste. This will help not only thicken but make the chili a deeper, richer color instead of that neon orange. Whisk the ingredients together until smooth. The next part is totally customizable to your taste and spice tolerance. We like our spicy. Add one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter to half teaspoon red pepper flakes, and one to three quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Give things a stir. And now it's time for the secret ingredient of one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa. I know it sounds nuts, but it does not taste like chocolate and it makes a world of difference. Add one medium onion, one diced poblano pepper, this is what it looks like if you've never seen one before, and two minced jalapeno peppers. Stir to combine. Add two cups of black, navy, or pinto beans, and your pound of browned ground turkey breast. Stir until well incorporated, cover with a lid, and heat on medium-low heat for 25 minutes. Give a stir and cover and simmer for another 25 minutes. You want your onions to be translucent, like this. Chili is one of those delicious, filling comfort foods that is like a warm blanket for our tummies. It's good to know that you can make what would be a sodium bomb of a bowl into something healthier and just as tasty. Top it with some Asiago cheese, scallions, low-sodium oyster crackers, and that's a meal that you can feel good about all winter long. Experiment with your favorite combos of add-ins and spices. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more baking magic straight from Mrs. Kringle's Kitchen.